Hello and welcome to Yoga with Alicia, continuing with our seven minute sofa yoga sessions. And this series, we're now moving into what I like to call it as core care. And this is all about your core, mainly, fundamentally, your abdominals, your stomach. If, like so many human beings, you let go of your stomach muscles, you put yourself in line for having issues with your back and your spine, those back aches, those pains, those niggles. If, however, you get some discipline and utilize seven minutes on the sofa, you can begin to strengthen and develop a resilience within your abdominals, your stomach, your core, to keep you in good stead for your present health and your future health. So many of us allow the stomach to relax, release all the muscles, they don't keep them strengthened. And this is when the load so to speak, then it gets put onto your spine. Now your abdominals are a support framework for your spinal cord. Thus, keep a strong stomach and core and your spine is gonna stay strong and healthy too. So in this series, we are going to do some exercises. I'm gonna give you some tips and techniques for developing a strong core. Let's get started. Sitting on your sofa, you might like to have your feet still on the floor, your knees bent, that's fine. You can adapt all of these upper body positions that I'm going to be showing, having your legs um, like so, like this, with your feet on the floor. However, if you want to get into your yogi position, of uh, being cross-legged, or maybe even um, Baddha Konasana, Bound Cobbler, where the soles of your feet are together, or you might like to even be in Padmasan, a uh, lotus position, whatever feels good for you. But first and foremost, we're gonna get ourselves out of the habit of the slouch, this where all of your abdominals, uh, your ribs as well, crush down into this lower part of the body and the stomach just uh, softens, rounds itself um, and your shoulders are rounded. Um, and it's not the best position for developing strength. So now you're going to activate and engage your abdominals, your stomach muscles by taking a breath in, awakening them, lifting them up, drawing up through the spine, and getting some elevation. That's first and foremost. So from a side angle, rather than being here, you're just rising up, engaging the stomach, lifting and beginning to develop some strength here. Now you can also implement the kidneys. Uh, they're at the back of the lower body here, one on each side. And if you just send a message from the mind to them, asking them to activate, to lift, and to gently draw forward, okay? So rather than slouching backwards, you've now got this forward and up. Relax the shoulders, unclench the teeth. And breathe. Bring your thumb and place it into your belly button. Gentle pressure there, push your thumb into the belly button and swallow. Make the connection between the mouth, the entry of your food, 
your water, everything that you imbibe, and close the eyes and have this connection with the belly button. So it's a swallow and you'll feel that connection between your mouth and your belly button. And then gently release. So now we've got that connection, keep it. Rise up. And we're gently going to revolve the trunk of our body. Now this means twisting our spine. And back in some of my um, older videos, albeit only a couple of weeks ago, we were doing spinal twists. Now within that, I state that as you twist the spine, you take the flesh on the body with you. So that's what we're gonna do. And this is just a preliminary stage for the videos that are going to follow. Okay, so we've got this lifting up, we've got this connection from mouth to belly button, and we're simply going to turn one way, come back to the center, and then turn the other way. Come back to the center. Just try this again, stay lifted, but with relaxed shoulders and unclenched teeth. You're going to turn one way and you can take the arm to the back of the shoulder and feel that twist of the spine, but that you're taking the flesh with you. Okay, you're not leaving it all to the spinal cord, to your backbone. You're actually moving the skin on your torso, the trunk of your body, with your spine. And then come back to the center. It's very brief. But do this practice, this very simplistic turning from side to side a few more times in preparation for tomorrow's seven minutes. So for yoga session, core care. See you soon.